Guys, what has my channel even come to? You know, I had to spend like two weeks, two weeks, mentally preparing myself to sit down and write this video. I knew it would be a good video topic, and I knew it would be fun to make, but my brain just did not want to cooperate with me on this one. But after a long and exhausting mental battle, I am here in front of you all to talk about... Skibbity toilet. <laughs> yep, it's kind of crazy how this entire thing seemed to just spawn out of nowhere. While everyone was focused on Ban Ban and whatever other slop was being pumped out earlier this year, Skibbity toilet was silently exploding under our noses. It really wasn't until earlier this month that the general public started to realize what the hell was happening. And even then, Barely anybody knew, or still knows, what the hell it is. Skibbity Toilet is truly a phenomenon unlike any other to grace us this year. You thought the Ban Ban 3 trailer having over 10 million views was crazy? Try multiple episodes of Skibbity Toilet having over 100 million views. This isn't just like one or two episodes either. There are 17, count them, 17 episodes of Skibbity Toilet with over 100 million views. That's not even counting the multiple compilation videos that also rock over 100 million views. I am genuinely surprised it took this long for more people, including myself, to find out how crazy this entire situation has gotten. Given how much of a phenomenon this is, you would probably guess content farms have been all over this, and you would be dead right. Slowly but surely, Ban Ban is either being phased out or merged with Skibbity Toilet Stuff to make the ultimate content farm content. So today, we're gonna go over all of it. We're gonna go over the series, multiple different Skibbity Toilet content farms, and of course, we'll try to answer the ultimate question. What the hell is this shit anyway? All that and more on this exciting episode of Oh Yeah Looks at Bottom of the Barrel YouTube Slot for Your Entertainment. Strap in. But first, this video is sponsored by Millinote. Millinote is a fantastic tool that helped create this very video you're watching right now. It's an all-in-one website that allows you to compile your ideas, notes, images, videos, audio files, and even more, all in one place for any and all creative needs. But enough explaining, let me show you what Millinote is all about. Here you can see the main video project board. We have a quick overview, a research section, a mood board, a to-do list, a storyboard, the list goes on. Creating a Millinote board is easy. Just drag and drop notes and other tools from the sidebar and you're set thanks to a wide variety of pre-made templates. What I love about Millinote so much is that it makes the process of structuring one of my videos so much more visual than it would have been otherwise. Gone are the days of opening up a text document and pasting a bunch of links I might forget in a week. Now I have a full interactive overview of my entire video. It's seriously a game changer. You can even download the Millinote app for your iPhone to keep your ideas handy wherever you go. Millinote is completely free for everybody, no time limit. Sign up using my link in the description to start planning out your next project today. Thanks to Millinote for sponsoring this video. Okay, before we dive headfirst into the Skibbity Toilet series, I should probably try my best to explain how we even got here. It ain't gonna be perfect, and I'm doing this mostly from memory, so if I get something slightly wrong here, you can email handydancomplaints at gmail.com and I'll be with you shortly. Anyway, here we go. This all starts with one song that came out over a year ago called Dom Dom Yes Yes by the artist Bizer King. I would play the song for you here right now, but I'd probably get hit with one million copyright claims. So instead, I'll just sing a part of the song myself. It goes something like, Brrr, skibbity, dop, 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 yes, 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 skip, skibbity. You've probably heard it before. It went super viral earlier this year and late last year. Not because of the song itself or anything, even though it is very catchy, but because of this guy on TikTok. This guy went viral making short videos of him bouncing his stomach up and down while the song played in the background. For whatever reason, this went uber viral and spawned clones and just the general use of the song and the guy himself in memes. Hell, you can even have a PNG of him following you in Roblox as a back accessory. So pretty much all you need to know is a fat guy shakes his belly for views while this song plays in the background. There would be countless remixes, memes, and spin-offs of the Skibbity Dop Dop meme, which eventually culminated in a YouTube creator by the name of Dafuck Boom jumping on the trend. Dafuck Boom has been making absurdist SFM animations for years at this point, 
covering topics from GTA to Transformers. He got his start doing short videos to begin with, so an eventual pivot to uploading YouTube Shorts content was an obvious choice, which is exactly what he did in January of this year. His first YouTube Short, simply titled Bajow, even features the head of some guy in a urinal, so the seeds for Skibbity Toilet were planted even from the very beginning. Defuck Boom would stay pretty consistent with his Shorts uploads all throughout the month of January, and near the end of the month, he would upload a video that would change his life forever. No, not the first episode of Skibbity Toilet, but a different video titled Skibbity Bop Yes Yes Yes. This video is just a crazy animation of some guy singing a remix of the Dom Dom Yes Yes song I mentioned earlier, and something about this video was crack I guess, because it ended up going super viral. This video now sits at over 60 million views, and would lead into the start of Skibbity Toilet later in the year. That's pretty much all the backstory you need to know. Defuck Boom ended up exploding in views and subscribers, now rocking an insane 21 million subs, which is still growing every single day. Okay, now that you know the backstory and a bit about the creator, I think we're ready to go through episodes 1 through 10 of Skibbity Toilet to see what the hell is up. Why only the first 10 episodes, you may ask? Well, originally I did want to go over the first 50 episodes, but the series kind of just gets repetitive and samey after a while. And the real shift in tone happens within those first 10 episodes. Skibbity Toilet doesn't have the funny factor of being able to pull up a wiki every two seconds for funny moments, so we'll keep this section on the actual series kind of short so we can spend more time looking at some of these content farms. I think one of the most interesting aspects of this series is that if you found a random person on the side of the street that knew nothing about Skibbity Toilet, showed them the first episode, then asked them to predict where the story would go by the 10th episode, I can guarantee you they would never be able to guess it. That's how much this series changes in only 10 episodes. It gets weird, kind of epic, and even after watching the whole thing, I am still confused about it. No more delays! Here's an idiot trying to explain the first 10 episodes of Skibbity Toilet to a bunch of people who probably also have no idea what Skibbity Toilet is. Please enjoy. Episodes 1 and 2 are the humble beginnings of Skibbity Toilet. These are literally just quick, absurd videos that use a popular song in a way just out there enough that the videos went viral. Key features are there's guys in toilets, they jump scare the camera at the end of the video, and that's pretty much it. Nothing super weird yet, but just give it a bit and we'll start to see some of that weird shit. You see, that didn't take long. We have now gone from heads dancing and singing in a toilet bowl to waves of these toilets straight up attacking cities for some reason. And there's also giant ones now. They go to a restaurant, start flooding the streets, and even take over the sky. Why is there an aerial skibbity toilet, bro? And if you thought that was a jump from 0 to 100, you haven't seen anything yet. I didn't even know this episode existed until the middle of me writing this script, because for some reason it just wasn't included in any of the compilations I was watching. I'm assuming it's because this episode uses a full copyrighted remix of the Dom Dom Yes Yes song that started all of this. And it's also not super crucial to the story in any way. It's just a dance party. Nothing super noteworthy here, but I thought I'd mention it anyway. Episode 7 is where the lore starts to really come into the picture. Before this point, everything has kind of just been lol random for the sake of being lol random. This is still the case for the majority of the series going forward, but now there's some lore sprinkled throughout as well. The first person view we are seeing in this episode goes up to a skibbity toilet and flushes them away, causing them to probably die a horrible and painful death. This is quickly followed up by an army of skibbity toilets jumping the guy and killing him. Rest in peace, random guy. You will be missed. These next couple episodes introduce the main protagonist of the series, that being the camera heads. These are a bunch of guys with cameras for heads instead of, well, heads. I think they're taken or at least inspired by some anime. I don't really care to check if that's right or not, so just take that with a grain of salt. Or go ahead and spread misinformation online, it's a free country, do what you want. This sets up the main conflict of the entire series, the camera heads versus the skibbity toilets. You can even see in episode 8, a camera head vandalizing the grave of the original skibbity toilet, only to be jumped by fucking skibbity toilet police for some reason. Finally, we're on episode 10, and this one gets its own spotlight because it's very weird. Okay, so like, there's a skibbity toilet church, stay with me here, okay? And a bunch of skibbity toilets are watching a ceremony where one bigger skibbity toilet is presenting what I'm assuming is some sort of religious speech in the skibbity language. This is all happening while the Kanye West song, No Child Left Behind, is playing in the background for some reason. And just as you're beginning to process all of that, an army of camera heads raid the church and kill the big skibbity toilet. Before they can kill the big skibbity toilet, however, one of them gets eaten alive by it. Sure, why not? The episode ends with the soon-to-be iconic thumbs-up pose that the camera heads do when they've successfully completed some sort of mission. 
We are now one-fifth into the entire series in terms of episode number, and we have gone from a singing guy in a toilet bowl to a fucking church raid. Truly peak cinema if I've ever seen it. And just like I said, we'll stop there with the actual series. The rest of the episodes follow the ongoing war between the toilets and the cameras, and it pretty much just becomes a series of fast episodes with fast absurdist action. If you're even a little bit interested, I'd recommend checking the series out, even just to say you watched it. The whole thing is about 25 minutes right now, so it doesn't take very long to go through. Before we move on though, I'm gonna mention some kind of important groups of characters that are introduced later on that may or may not end up being used in content farms I talk about later. There are speaker heads, TV heads, and camera titans. Keep that in the back of your mind as we go forward. Now that you all have a basic understanding of what Skibbity Toilet is, it's time to see what the internet has done with it. We'll go over some old faces on the channel, some new ones, and an example of one of the worst content farms I have ever seen in my entire life. Strap in. Oh, I already said that? Uh, again, you're gonna want to strap in again. Let's start this section off with a familiar face that I didn't really have the opportunity to talk about a whole lot last time. Horror Skunks, as you may or may not remember, is a channel that specializes in these weirdly high quality live action animation hybrid videos that cover popular internet media topics. Ban Ban, Rainbow Friends, you get the picture. Well, in the time I released my last video and this one coming out, Horror Skunks has put out a brand new video on Skibbity Toilet that has, not surprisingly, blown up in views. 8.8 .8 million views in two weeks is utterly insane. And while it's not even close to the most viewed video on this channel, that is still insanely impressive for the time frame it was done in. Last time I brought these guys up, I specifically talked about their Coach Pickles video. I was gassing up Coach Pickles as a character a lot in that video, but the Coach Pickles video they released is actually one of their least viewed videos in a while. Now, it still has almost 2 million views, so it's not like it got no views, but it definitely did worse than I thought it would. Hell, a fucking Pizza Tower video did better than it somehow. The king of content farms right now was dethroned by sad story of Pepperman. I guess Coach Pickles fell off from his peak, which isn't too surprising to be fair. He could only have that spot for so long, realistically. But we'll talk more about that when I talk about Handy Dan again in another video. Let's bring our focus back to Skibbity Toilet. Okay, wait, stop. What a fucking sentence. Let's bring our focus back to Skibbity Toilet. I think I need to say this in every video at this point. What the hell has my life come to? I'm not complaining, but like, how did I even get here? Anyway, horror skunks. So the video starts off with a Skibbity Toilet invasion hitting a local town. Pretty normal Skibbity Toilet plotline. There's a guy watching all of this happen from his apartment building when suddenly a Skibbity Toilet breaks into his place and turns his dog into a Skibbity Toilet for some reason. This shit is really scary. Why the hell does it look like that? Why is it? So the guy freaks the fuck out, and rightfully so and he runs to hide in the attic from the Skibbity Toilets. Now the logic here is probably, oh, they're toilets, they can't climb a ladder to get into the attic. Which actually sounds like good logic, until you realize nothing makes sense in this universe, and they both make it up in the attic anyway. The toilets find him, and right before they start to attack, a TV turns on, and the light scares them away. Remember those TV heads I briefly mentioned earlier? Well, the guy decides the only way to survive the Skibbity Toilet invasion is to become a TV head himself. I was talking to the YouTuber Chasington about this video for like a second two months ago, and he specifically wanted me to bring up how good this guy pulls off the look. And I gotta say, he's totally right. Bro looks snazzy as hell as the TV head. Anyway, the now TV head walks out into the street and starts blasting red lights at the Skibbity Toilets. No clue how he went from a scared guy in an attic to a master TV user, but it's best not to think about it. The TV guy continues his reign of terror on the toilets until we eventually make it to this one toilet that the TV head starts to drown to death. This leads into an insane flashback that shows the origin of this particular Skibbity toilet. I need you all to take a look at this scene because I can barely understand what the hell is happening here. So the guy is locked in a closet of some kind and another guy is banging on the closet doors for him to open up. With almost no hesitation, he opens the doors of the closet up. The guy who was trying to get in calls him a rat, and then it just immediately cuts to him being drowned to death in a toilet. Then before you can process any of that, the guy becomes a skibbity toilet. Like seriously, can anyone tell me what the hell happened here? This comes out of nowhere and I'm still confused after watching the clip multiple times. Like bitch, if I was hiding from someone trying to turn me into a mindless skibbity toilet, I would not open the closet I was locked in. I am staying in that closet until the guy either gives up or breaks down the door himself. Anyway, that plotline pretty much goes nowhere, as directly after this, the dog Skibbity Toilet from earlier sees the TV head guy again 
and they bond so much that the dog magically turns normal again. Also, I can't tell if this is the case 100%, but I swear to God, the barking used in this sounds like some guy making dog noises. Woof, 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 woof. Either that or it just sounds weird. I don't know. Regardless, that was the horror skunk skibbity toilet video. Here's hoping they make more because that was very funny. The moral of this section is never piss someone off to the point where they drown you in a toilet. I think that's some life advice we can all use. Anyway, who's ready to talk about Ban Ban again? Now. I promise that I bring up Ban Ban again for a valid reason here. Trust me, I do have fun talking about Ban Ban slop, but I wouldn't be bringing it up again if it wasn't relevant to the video. So, what's up? As many of you already know, Garden of Ban Ban became the king of all content farms on YouTube for multiple months straight. But that crown might be slipping off now, as it's looking like Skibbity Toilet is becoming the next big content farm topic. For that reason, a lot of channels that were doing pretty much only Ban Ban stuff for months have started to transition away from Ban Ban and into the world of Skibbity Toilet. I don't think there's a better example of this phenomenon than the channel Dom Studio. I have been aware of this channel for a while at this point, but never really looked at them super in depth until recently when they made multiple videos featuring my Trojan horse style Ban Ban OC, Handy Dan. This could lead into an entirely different conversation about self-aware content farms, because these guys 100% knew what they were doing when they used Handy Dan. But we'll save that for another day. Anyway. As you may have been able to decipher at this point just from watching the background footage, this channel specializes in making short animations based on whatever's popular at the time. At one point it was Poppy Playtime, now it's Ban Ban and Skibbity Toilet. You get the picture. Just from looking at their channel and the video timestamps, you probably wouldn't guess that these animations are that short. But this channel uses a fairly common content farm tactic. Recycling content. The strat is simple. Have the beginning of the video be a short one to two minute piece of new content and fill up the rest of the watch time with older content that is somewhat related. Whatever you think about this style of content farming, you gotta admit it's pretty smart. It's like how Buggy Huggy reuses like a minute of content every time I upload a new Ban Ban chapter episode, but instead it's 20 minutes of old content to maximize watch time and ad revenue. I get it though. Animation is one of the hardest genres of content to make profitable on YouTube, unless you already have some sort of dedicated fan base. Not only does it take a lot of time and sometimes money, but the outcome for how much time is being put in is usually pretty short in terms of length, which YouTube hates. It's why storytime animators became so popular a while ago. It's easier to make semi-animated content that can have a much longer runtime consistently because of it. I'm pretty sure Dom is a group of people all working on these animations, so I can forgive the tactic. Gotta pay your workers, you know? Anyway, back to the actual content. The animation in these videos is actually quite decent in terms of content farm standards. As impressive as the accuracy to the actual Ban Ban games can be that Buggy Huggy does for their stuff, at the end of the day, that style of animation is overall pretty simple in comparison to what's being done here. So, like I said earlier, Dom Studio was on the Ban Ban train for months, but around four weeks ago, they uploaded their very first Skibbity Toilet video called Skibbity Toilet vs. Garden of Ban Ban, where they essentially just merged their ongoing Ban Ban series they were making into a half Ban Ban, half Skibbity Toilet series. This continues to be the case even to this day, but the thumbnails and titles have shifted away from Ban Ban for the most part, and are advertising themselves as purely Skibbity Toilet animations. One kind of weird thing that happened in the middle of the transition is multiple videos about Skibbity Toilets meeting Grimace. Like, like the McDonald's mascot. Actually, can I talk about that for a second? Because one of the strangest things to happen to the YouTube content farm scene in a while has to be the whole thing with Grimace. Okay, so in June of this year, it was Grimace's birthday, and McDonald's did this whole big celebration thing in the States. Over here in Canada, we got caramel popcorn ice cream instead, and that shit was pretty ass. It had nothing on the Grimace stuff. Part of that birthday celebration was the Grimace Shake, which was a berry flavored milkshake that had the iconic purple color of Grimace. Kind of out of nowhere near the end of the birthday promotion, a trend started on TikTok where people would drink the shake and then pretend to be killed by Grimace, usually in some sort of ridiculous fashion. This trend exploded and left the TikTok sphere pretty quickly making its way to every other corner of the internet. Well, somehow this spiraled into Grimace being lumped into Garden of Ban Ban content farm related videos? Hell, the same companies that pump out endless Ban Ban bootleg plushies have started doing Grimace plushies as well. It's seriously odd. I could go on forever about this topic, probably, but I'll stop there to keep the video somewhat on track. 
If you want a full deep dive on the Grimace shit, let me know. I might do it, but no promises. Anyway, that's pretty much it when it comes to Dom Studio and their skibbity toilet content farm animations. If you're wondering why I didn't go over any specific videos, that will happen in another video when I finally get around to talking about the whole situation that happened with Handy Dan. Regardless, I have some level of respect for this content farm, surprisingly, and this whole section was a fun excuse to talk about some slightly off-topic stuff. Enough messing around, though. Time to talk about a highly requested subject for the channel. Game tunes. The utter state of this channel is kind of insane to me, because I remember hearing about and watching some of the videos on this channel ages ago, back when they were only doing animations about Friday Night Funk and stuff. Like, I guess falling down the content farm pipeline of Ban Ban, Rainbow Friends, and Skibbity Toilet makes sense, given that's what FNF was to a lot of these channels when it was still super relevant. But it's just weird to see, you know? Anyway, given what I cover on this channel on a regular basis now, you could probably imagine that Game Tunes is a relatively common suggestion I hear. Which I both kinda get and also kind of don't. Like, unless I'm missing some major drama or lore here, this channel has been pretty consistent on its production of slop animation content ever since it started with Among Us stuff. Some people seem to think that there was some sort of quality drop-off in writing, but maybe those people just got older or something because the writing and all of this stuff is pretty consistently meh. In terms of their Skibbity Toilet content specifically, I watched The Sad Story of Skibbity Toilet, which is one of the most bizarre interpretations of the story I have seen the entire time I was writing this video. Remember that church raid that I ended the normal section of this video on? This animation takes that church raid as the most life-altering moment in the entire Skibbity Toilet timeline. So life-altering that the Skibbity Toilets are declared the losers of the war almost immediately and have to become military members to train to fight back. Also, the Skibbity Toilets can speak full English now, and singing the iconic Skibbity Toilet theme song is now illegal. Given this setup, the rest of the animation is a loosely related plot about them and the army and their war against the camera heads. It is a very odd animation that's animated like a tier better than a Go Animate video. And it kind of just feels like they didn't try very hard in regards to adapting the source material. The one props I can give them, however, is that this whole video is one cohesive story, without any clips from older animations. They probably have a big-ass team at this point, so it's not that surprising, I guess, but I thought I should still mention it. I could probably go on, but I'll leave it there for now. Game Tunes was a neat detour, but it's time to take a look at the final content farm for this video. One of the most deranged, shameless, and straight up nasty YouTube channels I have ever covered on here. It's time to talk about Upsong. There are many channels like this one for all sorts of different popular characters and series. I'm only using Upsong here as an example of a channel like this that has blown up just recently. For reference, their most popular video of all time was uploaded seven days ago at the time I'm writing this. So this channel is actively getting bigger day by day. I call a lot of channels content farms to the point where the word may have lost some of its original meaning along the way. To counteract this, this is not a content farm. This is a content factory. Forget milking a cow by hand. This channel is pumping out some of the most formulaic, mass-produced slop content I have ever seen in my entire life. The channel just started out making coffin dance covers using popular creepypasta characters. But when that didn't work out as consistently as Upsong had hoped for, he quickly shifted to pretty much just being a complete YouTube degenerate. After the coffin dance era, every single video on this channel features what is essentially just fetish art of children's characters. Fat fetish art, vor, borderline NSFW shit, it's all here. Like, I can't even in good faith show you some of these thumbnails without a bit of censoring. They are genuinely terrible. The actual content of this era is just spamming that one green screen meme of Pizza Tower characters screaming, but instead of screaming at the word boo, like in the original, they're screaming at a sexualized fat pink Among Us crewmate with fat tits and an ass. Truly the best content for all the young iPad kids to be consuming on a regular basis. The silver lining of this channel is that none of these videos had that many views. A few had over 100k, but nothing crazy. Well, that was clearly just because Upsong was tapping into the wrong market, because now that they've shifted to Skibbity Toilet, their views are way up. 
All the thumbnails still feature over-sexualized characters, now just of the camera heads instead of sandy cheeks and Among Us characters. The content itself has gotten significantly worse somehow as well. These videos are all around 8 minutes long so they can spam mid-roll ads for extra money, and the actual content of the videos is just random skibbity toilet memes on a white background with no thought put behind it. It is genuinely in the top 10 worst styles of YouTube content I have ever come across. It's so bad. That's what happens with anything even remotely popular with kids these days though. Stare into the rabbit hole for too long, and you begin to lose yourself. You forget what even brought you here in the first place. You forget that all of this started with a single video of a man's head singing and dancing in a fucking toilet bowl. So enough of this shit, it's time we wrap all of this up and move on. Skibbity Toilet has been one of the most bizarre things I have ever covered on this channel. And if you told me at the start of this research journey where I would end up now, I would have probably believed you because it's fucking YouTube, what else would you expect? I've been a uh, yeah, and I'll see you all next time.